This is the man we've all been waiting for. He is the World Time Trial Champion. He's a four-time individual pursuit champion. He is a record holder over four kilometers on the track. A flat road will hold no fear for this man. to get to the line and he has got what less than a lot less than a kilometer maybe less than 500 meters now for Filippo Ganna he is charging to the best time of the day and who's going to prevent this man from donning the first Maglia Rossa of Giro d'Italia 2020 because Filippo Ganna is in flying form and there's a large and appreciative crowd here at Palermo to witness one of the extraordinary feats in the history of time trialing in Giro d'Italia. It's going to be the fastest ever time trial, individual time trial, fastest ever team time trial, I don't think can match this either. Ghana ellipses the time, and what about that? 15.24, beat that! And well, now Ghana goes. Wants a steady tempo. The other riders are uh, looking around themselves, and De Gent wants to see something else. De Gant has gone on the attack. You, this was not expected. Could we have a second stage victory? It was down to within a minute advantage, and Ghana is absolutely flying today. He's riding up this 24 kilometer climb, which is at an average of what? Six uh, odd percent on the big ring, no problem at all. But clearly, Philip O'Gannis said, Give me some time, give me some time. I need to know if I can ride cautiously in this final few corners, or do I need to keep pressing on? My advice, mate, keep on pressing on. This will be a quite remarkable victory, spectacular stuff. Well, he's like a steam train today, isn't he? Riding towards glory, I can tell you the Italian broadcasters to our right are going absolutely mental. Filippo Ganna is the winner of stage five, and what a great play by Team Ineos Grenadiers. Celebrations, well, will continue long into the night. This is a remarkable victory, a beautiful success for Filippo Ganna. Filippo Ganna is going to catch up to Caicedo. 640, 50 knots. I mean, it's huge numbers. It's isn't just it? insane, isn't it? Again, as soon as he slows slant, he's out the saddle, just making sure he's keeping on the pace every single moment. He is so dialed round this final corner, safe, and he's on his way. That's a compli complicated bit done for Filippo Ganna, and this is going to be the time to win the time trial. Almost a half a minute to the good as he gets inside the final 50 metres. He's still pressing on the pedals. He's not going to celebrate just yet. Get across the line! 26 seconds faster than double world champion Rowan Dennis. He can hardly get the bike stopped in time. That was an immense performance. It's 
it's uh, dull and overcast, but they're absolutely perfect conditions for time trialling today. The merest hint of a headwind, but it's not preventing uh, Filippo Ganna from getting up to 56, 57 kilometres per hour at 500 watts plus. We haven't seen that dip below 500 watts since that roundabout. Into the first split. Oh my God, look at this, how far he is. The first split, nearly 20 seconds. Looks like it's a massive one for Filippo Ganna. He's got 20 seconds in hand with just over 5K left. <laughs> for Victor Campanarts, I think you can dust down the hot seat. Filippo Ganna just needs to keep it clean through the final bends and into the final 500 metres. It's a little bit technical, a little bit challenging. Stefan Rossetto ahead, started this time trial two minutes uh, ahead indeed of uh, Filippo Ganna, maybe with the target of not being overhauled. It might have been the major challenge for the Frenchman into the final couple of bends. And this is a slightly cobbled conclusion to this time trial in Milan as Ganna gets back on the skis for one more time through to the line, he's going to get back on the gear and rev it up to over 600 watts, maybe 800, maybe 1,000 or more, as Ganna takes it to the line. He's going to destroy this time. Ganna is the fastest. Who can beat that? 